Yeah, welcome back guys and girls. It's been around six weeks since I've been back and home from hospital since my last procedure. I've had a fair bit of rest. Um, so it's about time to get back into the QE and uh, do some work on it. I've had a few other outcomes and other possibilities and other things that are gonna be happening this year. More about that a bit later on. But anyway, I have a fair bit of other shit that's happening and I've got a fair bit done on the QE behind me. Uh, I'll show you in a second. So anyway, we'll get on to that and we'll get on to the other cars and other bits and pieces soon. So, enough look at my ugly face and uh, let's get to it and back on the queue. Cheers. Alright, as you can see, car body is up on the rotisserie. Sorry I'm moving a bit quick. Don't want y'all to get sick. Anyways, car's up. I'm going to flip it very soon, but as I'm saying, Rust down here, I'll be repairing shortly. The big ass tear in the back. God knows what that's from. Bit of rust along the front of the boot floor. And then some along here. There's only a couple of small pieces down the bottom down there. But apart from that, it is very solid. And yeah. So when it flips upside down, I'll give you another view of it. Then you'll be able to have a stickies and uh, yeah. It's the same if you see something you're not sure of, guys. Just bleep it down in the comments and uh, I'll have a read. And um, yeah, you might tell me something that I might miss and might not notice or I might have a better solution than what I've been doing. So yeah, anyways, time to spin the car around and uh, start working underneath. Then I can get all this shit coated. No, oh, yeah, gotta clean out some dirt and crap that's on the floor. But yeah, alright, time to flip the car. I'll be back soon. Cheers. Alrighty guys, just putting a little bit of sealant on some of the sections where I welded in. We want to stop any fumes at all coming into the vehicle. So yeah, best way to do it, keep it all going the same direction. Don't try and crisscross your seams because well, it might help to get some of the shit in to start off with, but if you leave it going all the same way, it just looks a lot neater when you're finished. And yeah, unless you know you can keep all the things and you get it going in the right positions, it will seal it all up properly. Obviously, I'm going up here along the edge of the wheel well. Make sure I get in all the nooks and crannies and anything. Not that I don't trust my welding for sealing it up, but at least if you're gonna do it, you might as well problem. Uh, I'm using u pole grey sealant, if you can read that. Um, yeah, not a sponsor or anything like that. It's just this stuff, I've used it in the past and I've never had any issues, so I don't see the point of trying a different product when I know this one will and does work. So yeah. But yeah. I'll make sure I'm putting the lot on. I'll go over it like this and make sure I get it all in all the nooks and crannies on any join on the wells or anything like that. Last thing you do, or well, last thing you want, sorry, is to get any fumes in the car when it's all finished. Especially when you want, I'm going to have your family and things in the car. I want to make sure this car is 100% safe from fumes. And yeah. Give it a little bit of a display here, obviously. I 
and yeah. I'm not going to video the whole process along this back section. I will show you a few more sections when I do some more on the vehicle. But yeah, just give it a little quick display here now. While I'm sealing it up. I'm also putting it on the underside of the vehicle. I will show you some of those videos. Because as I say, I just want this thing to be 100% safe. But yeah. Alrighty guys and girls, that's a little bit for now. I'll uh, put it back on shortly and I'll uh, have it in a different position for you so you can see. Cheers, bye. Obviously, I'm not going to show you every single little part, but I did clean all this up and wiped it all down before I started putting the sealant down. Obviously you want your surface as clean as possible where you're putting the sealant. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, any contamination or anything like that may not cause the sealant to work properly. It may lift up and peel up, which is, well, you don't want that at all. Definitely do not want that. You want to make sure this is 100% sealed. But yeah. Uh, this stuff is about, I don't know, about an hour or so before it's dry, before you can paint over the top of it. Now, there is a couple of ways you can do this. If you want to be really anal about it and things like that, you can put masking tape down on both sides of where you're putting it. Outside the vehicle and other places, that is really good. Inside under here, it is doubles. It doesn't really matter that much because this is um, inside the vehicle and it's underneath all the carpets and everything. So at least I know if I have missed any places or anything like that, I'm going to be able to see them. But yeah, you want to, um, yeah, you just want to make sure you get a good coverage on it. Um, some places under the body where it might be visible and things like that totally recommend putting the masking tape over it on the edges so you can get perfect lines but yeah those are saying one hour this will be able to be painted over the top now obviously I'm not going to be painting over this within an hour but if you do need to do a spot and you're in a bit of a hurry and things like that you want to make sure it's all sealed you know, yeah, one hour. But for me, yeah, I'm going to be doing the whole car and doing a few other bits and pieces. So I will be painting over the top of this with some underbody, body, underbody, sorry, um, sound detonator from uh, Rust Oleum. But yeah, as I was saying, you want to keep this nice and even. And you want to try and keep them going the same way your seams. Obviously in a few places, it's a little bit impossible to try and keep it the same way. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to put it down. Because yeah, you want this stuff to be sealed. You want it to be 100%. You want to get all the fumes and everything out of the vehicle. Alright, more to come in a different place shortly. Cheers. Alrighty guys and girls, as you can see I have seam sealer around a lot of the bits and pieces and the welds that I've done in the car. It's coming along nicely. So I'm going to get on the other side. And over the back and all the other patches. Oop, that's a bit bright, makes it a bit hard for you guys to see. Sorry about that. But anyway, seam sealer is on. Full top side of the car is seam sealed. But anyway, underbody seam sealing is nearly all complete. And then I'll be able to put the underground matting. 
uh, matting paint, pfft, sound deadening paint, uh, then matting and things like that. But yeah, so I just thought I'd show you this now so you can see what's happening. It's coated. I'm happy. It's going to keep a lot of fumes and things out to keep me and my family safe when we go driving in the car. Alright, more to come soon. Cheers. Bye. Girls and girls, just a little quick update. Started a bit of the uh, rust oil sound getting a brush on uh, the body on the floor section here. Obviously, I can't go too silly putting it all on just yet. But yeah, just sort of give you a quick update. Yes, it is wet. Yes, it's going to be thick. It's going to have a couple of coats on it. And so, all good. Alrighty then. The remix in the background is not the original. Don't stress. Cheers for now. Bye. Another angle, as you can see. Very wet. Nice and black. A couple of coats. I will get the whole floor done, obviously. But yeah. Alright again. Cheers. Bye for now.